Hey y'all, it's me Dana. Um, welcome back to another video. And I'm sorry, today's video isn't going to be as, I guess, positive or lighthearted as my videos usually are. Um, I try to give a general um, positive energy just because that's what I like to watch. I don't want to put negativity out in the world. I don't want to put drama. But I just really need to get this off my chest. So today's video is just going to be about being burnt out, stressed out, and just overwhelmed. So, um, just a couple of updates. I'm going to leave a timestamp to where you can skip to get to the meat and potatoes of this video, but a couple of updates. I did not really upload last week just because I was severely burnt out. Um, I did those Among Us characters. I did 12 different character designs, which is a lot for me, and I did it all in one week. And I live streamed like every single day of that, um, week. So yeah, I was really tired and I just did not feel like doing a video and I really wanted to. I was like, you know, your your time's running out, but I just decided I'm just not going to do it just because I, I needed to take a break. And um, yeah, so that's where I was. I wasn't active on YouTube, but I was very active literally everywhere else. I'm going to talk about that. Um, but yeah, I should be doing two videos a week again. So that's really cool. And I believe this video is coming out like the day I'm recording it. So, hey, um, this is like two hours prior. But anyways, um, today I have a lot of things I want to talk about. So the art you're seeing in this video isn't even art I posted. I don't even know if I finished it. I think I finished it, but I hated it. So I didn't post it. So I guess it's not finished. But um, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to move on. I'm going to talk about... Um, just being burnt out and what happens when like you're burnt out but you still have to draw so if you don't know um i do commissions you can get your own commission if you'd like um prices are on my instagram but anyways i do commissions and um i've been doing them pretty frequently like almost every week i've had um at least like one commission which is really really nice and this is the thing when talking about commissions and maybe i'll make this its own videos like it's a double-edged sword because even though yes i'm drawing this is my passion it's still work regardless but i still feel bad complaining about it because i'm like is this not your dream job you know i'm like well, my dream job is to not need a job to like survive like I don't dream about working I dream about drawing like I guess my dream job would be I draw art that I really love and then people buy it that is a dream job <laughs> you know but um that's why I always feel conflicted complaining about commissions because I feel like I'm being ungrateful but at the same time it's still work it's not like I'm saying oh I hate you know making money in a way that i like it's just it's weird and i'll talk about it in this own video but i've been doing commissions very often and i don't think well i think a lot of people talk about it um commissions um they're not like super fun to do if that makes sense like i enjoy drawing i enjoy drawing for other people and i'm happy that i'm able to make money off of doing what i love that's not the problem it's just that um when you have quite a few it's not just a drawing that takes effort it's just constantly thinking about it and it wearing on your brain like hey you need to do this commission it's due by this time and even though i usually set my own deadlines i always try to have it done within like two weeks because i think that's appropriate that's really enough time for me so i don't i don't like to prolong commissions especially when i know i can get it done um quickly so it's <laughs> I just, I just feel like I've been overworking myself a little bit. Um, like I said, I usually have one to three commissions every single week or like do that week. And I'm also working on some book illustrations right now. And like I said, I'm so grateful for the experience and just working with other people because this is what I want to do with my life. I do want to be an illustrator, specifically a children's book illustrator. So it's not like I hate it. That, that's not the point. It's just that that coupled with um, school, coupled with the stress, I'm a senior for um, high school. So um, coupled that with like the stress of graduation and dropping classes and all this and it's a lot not to mention like i still it's, it's so weird talking about um being a social media artist because i remember i was talking about this with my uncle it's like sometimes it feels like 
um, if I'm like, oh yeah, I do a lot of art for social media, I feel like a sellout or I feel like less valuable as an artist because my art is supposed to be easily consumed. And that kind of wears on me a little bit because I think my art is of quality, you know, but sometimes I feel like this is only something to like, you know, fill up somebody's brain for like five seconds and then they move on and you're just grabbing at the little bit of attention that you can get and like you know like i said i like my art i think it looks nice i i enjoy doing it it's not super difficult to do but at the same time sometimes i feel embarrassed saying oh yeah well i care about how many instagram followers or um analytics like i care about the analytics of my socials sometimes it feels like I don't know, like, I'm a sellout as an artist sometimes. And I don't know how we got here, but I'm really just rambling. I just gotta get a lot of stuff off my chest because these thoughts are probably what stopped me from uploading um, last week. So I guess I'll just get them out here. But yeah, but it's it's weird because that's how I feel about it. But I still, I still do it anyways just because I know it can be viable for me. I never want to think of... I never thought I could, um get this many subscribers or whatever um I always know I can be successful like that's not my struggle like I know I can be successful like I know I can grab an audience like I know I can hold people's attention it's just the work to get there is really really difficult especially since I don't think my art is anything extraordinary I think it's cute I think it's somewhat unique in different aspects but it's not like completely different out of this world it's not like a talent you know it's something that I've worked for like almost everything any talent any skill that I have in my life I have worked for so it's like I know I can be successful like I see it and I know it and like I'm on my way there it's just the work to get there um, it's really hard especially when I don't completely know what I'm doing all the time like I kind of have a grasp on my audience you know I know what hashtags to use but you know I'm not in like the nitty-gritty analytics this is what this means you know like I'm doing my best with what I have so like even though I don't completely know what I'm doing I kind of know what I'm doing and I know I can be successful I just know it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of posts and a lot of energy and it wears on me a lot <laughs> um yeah it just wears on me a lot and like I said I'm always grateful um just because I know I can do it doesn't mean I'm less enthusiastic when I hit a milestone like when I hit 5k on Instagram that's a milestone even though I know I can do it it's still a milestone and I'm excited about it you know I'm not taking it for granted I'm just excited that my work has paid off like something that I knew that could happen finally materialized and it happened and that was big for me you know um so yeah sometimes I just feel really overworked sometimes I feel like the work that I do quote unquote work that I do isn't even really work because I'm not seeing um the I guess the the harvest of my labor I guess I don't know the term but yeah like I'm not seeing it yet so it's really weird to be like oh I'm so tired from posting and doing this and that and it's like well are you making any money off of Instagram or TikTok yet or YouTube and it's like no I'm just <laughs> and it's like even if I'm not making money, I'd still make these videos, obviously, because I'm talking right now. I'm working on a video right now, and I'm not making money off of it, you know? But um, that is a part of the reason why I do a lot of the things that I do, because I want a sustainable life. I want to live comfortably. I, want, I don't want to be struggling, especially since I know the type of field that I'm going into. And I know that social media can be really successful for artists. And I want to start now, you know, like I'm 17. I, I really wish I started maybe like a year earlier, or just something, anything, because I want like when I'm in college or afterwards, like I'm stable, like I have at least one source of revenue. You know, I never I never want to worry about basic necessities. I want to be able to provide for myself. And I know the field and career that I'm going into, the arts. And I don't want to struggle. I don't want that to be my life. I'm honestly, I'm just really afraid of not being in a stable place. And I never want that to happen to me. So I guess that's why um, I'm working really hard <laughs> on my socials and all that good stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, it can just be really, really taxing. And 
like I said, it's weird to complain to people like, oh, I've been posting so much. And it's like, how is that tiring, you know, to other people? Like, how is that tiring to you? And like, I could get into it. Um, I guess I'll get into it here because this is the best space. I don't think it needs like a whole like 10 minute video for it. But yeah, um, like Taylor making content for the platforms that I'm on. So the main ones would be YouTube, um, Instagram, and TikTok. I, I tweet a lot, but it's not always art related, you know? It's not like strictly art related. Um, I don't make content specifically for Twitter. I don't think most people do, so I'm just not even going to consider it. So, you know, I have to make a lot. Not I have to make a lot of content, but for every drawing, um, when I first start, I have to decide, okay, am I going to screen record this to put this in the video? Yes or no? And that yes or no dictates how stressed I am about the piece. Um, I usually screen record almost everything that I do, even sketches, you know, just because, like, I don't want to run out of, I don't want to feel like I have to make art to do a video. I never want that to, like, be how I feel, and that's how I used to feel when I first started my channel, but I've, I've, I've drawn so much, Lord have mercy, so I, I have a lot of videos saved up, and that's the one you're seeing right now, but yeah, so, um, if I'm screen recording, I'm like, okay, I gotta move a little faster, I can't just stand idle on the screen, I just can't take random breaks, you know, I only have so much storage <laughs> on my iPad, and then if I'm like, well, I know I'm posting to Instagram, I know that that's pretty much, like, my gallery, my portfolio right now, so, um, I always have to make sure, not always, but I try to make sure it's a specific size to fit, like, my grid pattern, blah, 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 and then after that, I'm like, okay, am I posting this to TikTok? Probably, and so that, I, ha okay, I hate recording stuff for TikTok, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so freaking much, because it interrupts the creative process so much when I have to put a camera in front of my tablet and make nice lines for the video on beat and this that and it's so weird because like I know I don't have to but I feel like I do if that makes sense like I want to put out quality content and if quality content for me right now is um making specific cuts for my TikTok video on beat then that's what I'm gonna do you know and it just interrupts the creative process so much but I do it regardless you know and so you know I finish the drawing finishing the drawing is a whole another can of worms but you know I, I finish it and then I schedule it to post and all this stuff and then sometimes posts just don't do well and I understand you know that's just the internet but sometimes it can be so frustrating like crazy frustrating because I'm like I feel like I put a lot of time into stuff and you know I know everyone does you know um, I'm not blaming other people it's just I mean that's just how the internet is and sometimes I hate how the internet is you know and it's like I just want I just want something to like blow up and get that audience and then I'm good <laughs> you know like when I when I do my videos sometimes I don't really do trending topics usually I usually just make what I want but that Among Us character thing I actually wanted to do that and it's a trending topic I feel like it's already fleeting and I, I just started oh it's so hard being an artist sometimes but yeah like I posted 12 videos on my TikTok um yeah like two posts a day and like the first i would say three posts got really good reception really good coverage especially for someone who only had around like not even like a thousand followers it got a really good reception you know and i really really love that but it's just after that just seeing it because i know it's gonna happen but just seeing it fizzle out even though i'm still putting a lot of work into the designs and even though i think a lot of the later designs are better than the first ones it's just it's, it can be so frustrating sometimes and you know with a bigger platform comes i don't want to say controversy or conflict because i feel like those words are too serious but i guess challenging of the art or the artist and like i know that's everybody's right it's a public forum sometimes <laughs> yeah so like like i know it's a it's a public forum but sometimes i just want to draw i always want my spaces specifically on instagram youtube and tiktok to be positive i don't really want to get into not controversy not drama just 
I don't want it to be discourse. I don't like discourse. I want to draw and I want to make people happy and I want us to talk about the art and you know how I designed it or what you would change, you know, lighthearted stuff. I don't want to talk about the politics of my art because I'm sure there are, you know, politics is life. But I don't want to talk about it. That's not what I want to focus on because at the end of the day I do do this because I want to, you know. And that's that's why I delete comments. That's why I took a specific video down because I was like, I'm not addressing this. Like, I'm not bringing this negative attention and negative vibe and ne negative energy to my channel. I just want to draw. And if you don't like what I draw, I, you can leave, you know? I just want it to be a positive space. I don't want it to be negative or discourse or, you know, we can have a conversation. That's not the problem the, I just don't want to have an argument you know I don't want to have a debate in my own comment section I want us to talk about the art and I want us to talk about art problems and how we like to do stuff and <laughs> you know leave discourse to Twitter you know I just don't I just want my spaces to be positive for people who look like me I want to draw people who look like me draw people who look like other people I want to make stories I want to make people happy you know and at the end of the day, you know, that's why I take commissions. And that's why I post on public forums and stuff like that. But it can get really tiring, especially when I'm trying to be successful, you know? And this video is really long. So I, I think I'll get more in depth in this, in its own video, because this could be an own video. But even some things that wear on me sometimes is like jealousy. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know if jealousy is the right word because it feels like such a strong emotion, but it's not like a super present emotion, I feel like, in me. But sometimes I do get frustrated or irritated when, you know, me and another artist, you know, are at similar spots. You know, I, I don't know them. They don't know me. <laughs> Obviously, you know, we've made similar content and like their video, you know, just does incredibly well. And, you know, you know. I, you know, I get 100,000 views. I'm so proud. I'm happy about that. And I get, you know, like 500 new followers, which is great for me. And I'm never going to downplay what I've gained. That's not what I'm saying. But then I look at what it could be. And that's frustrating. And I hate talking about negative emotions. But I mean, they're they're present. They're real. So I just want to say it. Or like as somebody who did like a similar topic or a sim similar type of video. And theirs garners like a million views. And they get 50,000 followers right off the bat and they're like they're ready like they get a head start and sometimes that can just be super frustrating to me because I'm like I just want to hit 10k <laughs> I just want to get the swipe up feature on Instagram you know I'm like <laughs> and sometimes I just get sometimes I get upset or sad about it because I'm like I feel like I'm putting in just as much work as anybody else and sometimes I feel like I'm not re you know reaping the fruit or the benefits or whatever but I always have to remind myself everybody else is on their own journey and you just keep doing what you're doing if you're growing at a steady pace um, I'd rather grow at a steady pace than plateau and I'm not saying other artists will that's not what I'm saying at all I hope all artists are able to get what they want out of their platforms that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying there are some benefits to where you are right now and where you are right now is okay because everyone had to be at a thousand before they hit a million everybody had to be at you know five thousand before they hit 10k you know and i don't think it's selfish or shallow to have a goal of how many followers or subscribers you know, I don't think that's shallow. I just think that's a fact of life. I want people to care about my art and seeing it as a number kind of gives me a literal version of how many eyes are watching my stuff. So I don't think it's shallow. I just think it's something that I do have to be mindful of and just remind myself of why I do all the work that I complain about. Um. So yeah, the this video was supposed to be more about like... Um, being burned out and how you deal with that but i i went off topic i've just been rambling this whole like 20 minutes so i'm not really sorry about that because i do really want to share you know how i'm feeling right now but um i guess i'll just have to make that its own video for thursday i really wanted to do a lot of fun halloween videos for this month but it's just not really working out character i want to do character design videos that's what i'm comfortable with that's what i get excited about you know but I'm just not really, not that I'm not feeling it right now. I still want to do it. It's just 
character design videos are a lot of work and right now I just do not have the time for them. So as upsetting, not upsetting, but as disappointing as it is, I'm probably not going to be making a lot of specific Halloween videos, but I do want to do a Ride with Pride um, video just because I think it would be fun. So yeah, um, thank you guys for listening and watching. Um, if you want to check out my socials, I'm on Instagram under underscore hot tea underscore, and I'm on TikTok. Check me out on TikTok because I'm pretty active over there and I post sketches that you don't see on Instagram or whatever. So check me out on those socials. Um, if you want to get my art on literally anything, my red bubble is linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notifications. I think I hit all of the bills and, um, just thank you for listening and being on this journey with me. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Also, I can't believe I forgot to say this. Thank you so much for 300 subs. Um, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much. All right, now bye for real.